Hello and welcome back to Hearts Find 4 with our Austro Hungary campaign where England is finally falling under our influence. Slowly but surely, we are getting closer to. Oh my god, this is a naval invasion. I did not notice. Attack, counter attack. Why is this such a bad attack? We should. Oh, they, whoa, what? Their defenses are pretty high. Okay, we'll stop the movement, I guess. Uh, I thought we had this, but apparently we didn't. That's probably where some of the forces went. Well, luckily they are invading there, not on England soil. Um, move like that. Cut these guys off. Okay, and I will keep... How many people are here? Uh, this four divisions? Yeah, that's fine. That's completely fine. That will probably mean that they're gonna start leaving troops here. That's good, that's exactly what we want. We don't want them there. Alright, good. Mm. Let's see if we can get into Bristol. Either that or... Nope. We might be able to... Uh, I thought I told you not to do that. Thank you. What the hell? Okay, so they're trying to attack outwards. England is trying to get their soil back. Um, all right. Once again, I think we need to do a little bit of work right here. See if we can take that. There we go. Kind of don't like how we uh, lost how we lost like vision over all these troops, but uh... okay, with the troops that are here, I think we should be able to take that. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Um, all right, good. We took that back. Don't know how we did it, but we did it. That's the important thing. We're fighting... I think we're doing pretty good, all in all. You can safely move there. You see, the more territory that we take away from them, the weaker England gets, the bigger the chances that we can actually, you know, successfully just take this all on. There we go. Alright, a little bit of an order save, I guess. Keep supporting that attack. This one is important. I want. I need this one to break. Okay. Well, just hold off them for a second. I think this is a lengthening of the line, so that's not exactly what I want, but... I think it can be worse. We need to shore some stuff up here, which would be fairly nice if we can actually do that. A lot of American troops just marched past us again. This is protected by a singular fort, okay. What are we looking for at the Air Force here, actually? My aircraft are doing fairly well. You guys are actually allowed to do uh, normal operations, because I don't want you to die of this uh, shit. You know, wipe out everything. Okay. Alright, gonna attack here, gonna attack here. Hopefully I can cut off the uh, resupply that I've been doing here. Towards Birmingham from there. There we go, okay. Um, I don't know how many troops are actually assigned to this front here. Only those three. That's quite perfect, actually. So you gotta assist for a multi prong attack. Those three are gonna take control over this area. The rest of you are gonna just stay behind there. That's pretty good. So we, we're gonna work on five. Oh, that's even probably a little bit better. So one of you can go there. You know what? One of you goes there, and the one that's already moving, just go there. Like that, we'll have a five, five, five prong attack on the uh, port of Plymouth here in Cornwall. 
and uh, hopefully we can just secure this area and uh, yeah, get some control over it. Fifth five prong attack is not gonna do the trick yet, so we're gonna stop this immediately. And we just gotta take it easy for a second. There's a lot of room here. Uh, you could just safely do this, right? Mm, actually, that lengthens the line. I, I would actually love to take Bristol. Very nice. Okay, I think I can control the uh, front line. This gives you a little bit of a bonus attack as well. I rarely do this intense manual control over the attacks, but this is just such an important attack that we need to do right. Um, I think, yeah, okay, this is fine. Uh, we can safely advance here and here. And then we can probably also move here in uh, the uh, Birmingham. All right, very good. So we just want to wait. And we're going to tell you to advance. And get supported by the, uh, by the other sides here. Do safe attacks, you know. Getting, take it easy. There's no rush, there's no hurry. If the enemy makes mistakes, we'll capi uh, capitalize on that. And uh, yeah, I think that's a lot more important than anything else right now. So I want to swing up uh, uh, the Welsh part here. Uh, probably here in... Uh, is it Cardiff? I think it's Cardiff. CA, that probably is Cardiff. Um... Let's see what we get when we move march up here. Get some forces up here in, in the Welsh mountains. All right, uh, I'm gonna counterattack there. That's not the, that big of a problem. Getting attacked. Here. Let's see what what kind of forces do we have here? A lot. Fifty six reserves. Seems that most of the U.S. Army is now currently stationed in Cardiff. So if I can just thank you, stop that. Thank you very much. All right, um, attack there, attack there. Okay. I'll get some efficiency down there. Oh crap, there it is. That's what I was afraid of. Um, that they would do these back landings because we have li literally no defense against this. Um, so yeah, we need to send just some forces back immediately. Okay, so they're not defending this. That's good. That's good. Okay, very good. Um, no, 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 you're not gonna sit on that one. That's that's not gonna make much of a difference. All right. Um, you attack here. You get supported from here and here. That will work, I guess. Yep. All right. A tank was a bit of an annoying one. All right. Very good. And then we can do that. Support it from here and here. Take that region. And we can take that one real quick. Hopefully we... Uh, we can do this. So okay, there's a lot of movement there. A lot of movement. They're moving to to the upper parts of England here. Hopefully that's this is just a large exodus of troops out of Cardiff. And okay, you're gonna attack here, supported by these two guys. All right, there we go. And actually, you can just attack with it. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. There we go. Very good. All right. Still, large amount of troops there, not gonna attack. Um, Alright, what do we have? Um, support companies, get a recon up and running. Cutting them off here might actually be a good idea, but I don't like the idea of my line going um, shorter, um, being split again. All right, taking that. I think, yeah, that's the see. That's the problem. Um, by splitting up the line, 
ah, I just don't like the idea. But there's a lot of movement right here. Um, something I we probably should see if we can inter intervene, um, prevent them from doing it. I'm also hoping that a lot of troops will actually stop going. Um, like, what do we still have here? Like, still 53 infantry divisions, so that is not changing at all. Can you stop that? Like, seriously. Thank you. Yes, yes, military factories are getting burned down. Okay, so this is... Yeah, a lot more divisions are coming in there. Just stop the attacks. Okay, how am I gonna do this? First of all, I think I have to cut this off if I can, so... Let's uh, cut, cut off wheels. All right, how many troops? we got 10 divisions here, that means we've got 9 divisions there. That's actually not the numbers that I would like to see. You should go there. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, then you can move here. Get support from these guys. We're gonna lock in wheels. Make this line as short as possible so we can leave the... Uh, well, Balkan Diplomatic Initiative right now. You think that's a good idea, UK? We're getting a lot of factories, but this, mostly it is these small the, the cities that is currently going to be the problem that we're facing. Um, who's standing in this province? You. Okay. Okay. Very good. Our paratroopers are doing glorious work. Um... So far, I'm pretty proud of uh, the results that we've been... Ha okay, so they just keep taking back Plymouth. Okay, you need one less, so... Um, can I... Actually, just take... Just do it like that. Thank you. Okay, so they're bailing out troops. That's good. You go here, you go here. So we can just set up another three troops just right there, and the rest of them will all go back on the other front line. So they just, they did, okay, there's an attack. That's something we need to keep, prevent them from breaking out. That's gonna be important. Okay, two guys can hold, good. Okay, you can take that one. Um, one dude in Plymouth, just kick him out, will you? Thank you. So that's the important thing. We keep an eye on 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 ports like this. Uh, it seems Plymouth is their like favorite uh, holiday location, I guess. You know. All right. Okay. We've got a access of steel all of a sudden. Very good. Okay. You go here. You guys keep go here. You guys can go to this one. Um, with the amount of divisions that is there, I think six is actually not a bad number. Okay, um, that definitely doesn't need to be a six. Um, no, you can go here. You can go, okay, six there is good. Right, nice. All right. Um, England, how far are you... Actually, you're halfway done, and we got most of your industrial centers, so I think... Prolonged attacks are actually gonna make, make, gonna make a difference. Now, I think the Air Force... Um, let's see... I did trade away a lot of my close air support. That might not have been a good idea. At least like 200 close air support over oh, Northern England. And I think I'm going to request a lend lease from Germany for a fighter aircraft. And it will not accept. We have too much equipment in stockpile. But I don't have fighters. Come on, man. I actually need those fighters. So the US forces are leaving. It's good. So only British forces remain. And they're not doing too swell. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see, what are we looking at for naval in the British Channel here? There are, there are ships, like, everywhere. So there's no real chance of, of, of setting up anything that can do anything here. 
I would like to take Manchester, I'll be brutally honest here, but I don't think we can. Especially not with, you know, 16 to 18 of these dudes walking there. Um, we got the field hospitals, Let, you know. Let's take a look at the uh, losses. UK is actually bleeding quite a lot, that's good. We've, we've managed to, to do a lot of damage there. I'm gonna wait for these US troops to uh, pass into Leeds and... Uh, then we're gonna see if we can strike at Manchester. I don't know where they're going, actually. I don't know what the exact plan here is by the US Army. But, um... Once they're out of there... Got some formation flying. Gotta wait for the final guy to set up the attack. Good, alright. It's being supported from two sides. Multi-pronged attack. That should pre do pretty good. You can bomb some crap here if you get the chance. Otherwise, we'll just, uh... We'll cease uh, your war efforts there. All right, that's Manchester under our control. The more we take, the more England is, will bleed, the more factories that we just have in, we can use for whatever. All right. So, okay, there's something attrition here. That's pretty good. Maximum attrition present. No, okay, that's not a good attack. No, stop, 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 stop. Oh, come on, do I need to... I need to wait for a little while. Okay, good. All right. Did that cause some of them to leave? No, it looked like some of them were like, okay, we're, we need to get out of here. Okay, this is a free attack, all things considering. This doesn't change the... As in, few forces doesn't lengthen the front line. It actually shortens its... I think... Uh, no, it actually doesn't change anything. Uh, same as this one. It's just an easy attack to do. In the end, I think we mo mo mostly just need to get rid of a couple of... Uh, um, the harbors and that kind of stuff, and that's about it. Too bad that that's actually some, quite a few of the victory points are, you know, in those harbors. Can we do a heavy attack? On Manchester here, or, or Liverpool, I'm sorry. Okay, I need more troops. Can I get you to join in? If I can get Liverpool, that would be kind of good. Okay, they're moving a lot of forces in, but they're being... This is like panic transport, so these guys actually don't add that much onto the fight. Very good. All right. That brings us a little bit closer towards British capitulation, which is now already to 78%. There is just a little bit left to do. And okay, this is done. Let's say uh, done the attack that gets Cardiff, gets another five points. Plymouth is is uh, 10 points. So it would be lovely if we can take that eventually. But uh, yeah, that's too late, man. Okay, you guys going to go set to the northern front here. Um... Hall is going to give us 10 points. Are there subdivisions? Oh, wait, we got another tank division done. Nice. Um, and transport you to the Dutch coast. All right. Um, just attack that one. I think you should be able to take that one. Um, there's some stuff here that's not actually not that good for us. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about factories being destroyed, uh, to be honest. All right. Very good. Okay. Very good, all right. Um, I'm gonna need some of the troops to... Um, use forces coming in here. Um, There we go. Quick attack on Hull, successfully taking Hull. I think we can just put these guys on a global attack order. Um, there's very little left here. I think we just can, can do an easy push in and I... Oh, crap. I might explain why that is. Um, No, you need to stay there. 
Okay, the rest of them is actually pushing in successfully. We just need to hold that line, please. Uh, if they don't take too much back, that is the end of it. I think it's just two Canadian forces that is that are here. That is not that much of a problem. Just push it in. And I'm gonna need one guy to go to Cardiff. Can you go with train right there? Need to get you there as quickly as possible, because I think this guy only needs to move in, yeah. That's it. Get Norwich back, which is five points. Just get it all back, and we should be good. Oh god. Well, that, luckily, that harbour is actually not a fairly... That's not a like a, a large amount of points value harbour, because it's none. Uh, so, you know, if they get harbours like that, that's not a... I don't mind. Okay. Um, so, we'll stop this attack. And half of you just goes back to the northern front. The rest of you just stays where you are, and that's all fine and dandy. And you can stop this attack. Alright, Brits are trying to get in forces, but they're uh, not going to successfully land here. These might have been sent a while ago. Can't wait for England to... Uh... Are you trying to send troops in Liverpool? Or are they just... Oh, they look like they're stuck there. Where are you going with them? Hmm. Just getting these northern provinces and uh, we should be golden. Um, okay, they're moving a little bit strange. Okay. England, how far along are you? 90%. So Glasgow, I guess, is 50 points. I think Glasgow is actually, might actually be fairly important that we take. We're going to stop the auto-attacking. Because I think I need to do a little bit of man manual work on, on this before uh, shit goes to shit. Get Newcastle back, please. No, just keep on the attack. Uh, we'll take you to... Okay, you can also assist with this one, assist with this one. I hate the fact that I need to keep an eye on these smaller fucking positions all the time. Alright, Annenboro. You get the Glasgow. Newcastle is uh, being taken back. Let's all go to the north. Ah, oh, crap, you guys are actually genuinely breaking them. Um, come on. Just go there. Alright. We need to get some speed behind this, because this is not going to go well otherwise. I think that the attack on... If Glasgow goes, I think it's going to be enough. I hope it's going to be enough. It just kind of has to be enough. That's kind of what I'm banking on. Destroying several hundred. Ah, oh, fuck. This is bad one. Get them in. Get them contained. I don't mind them having a little bit here on Plymouth, but... You can't capitulate it. Thank the fucking gods for that one. Alright, so it's just some American troops now that I need to be get need to take, take care of. But this does mean that the British Navy Ah shit, it didn't take a hit. The ground forces probably did. Yeah, we they lost quite a few of them. Everything that was in the mainland is now gone. Alright, but we need to do a little bit of cleanup here, because we've got American invasions coming out of our ass. Which is bad. Hopefully America isn't as hell-bent on retaking England as England was. Okay, uh, can I get half of you to quickly 
Just take care of that, please. Right. Let's do a little bit of work to get everything under control. Um, there we go. Attack. Okay, if these guys attack right here, it's not going to be the best attack. But then I get this guy. Oh, wait, they might actually succeed with that one. No, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, we got invasions in England coming out of our ass. It's just ridiculous the amount of invasions. You probably should just stay there. Okay, that is a lot of forces that are now in nowhere. Um, okay, that takes care of those. Oh, come on. It is just annoying. This is... Ah, why don't... Why I hate fighting for the axes? Because they're, they're not that good. Um, come on, man. Why can I not select any of you? Get them out of there now. Not yesterday. Now. Okay. There you go. And you just need one of you to do that. Alright, that's that set up. Okay, there's that. Okay, took that one back. Still a lot of troops right there. Where are you going on? Well, whatever. Okay. Um, okay, we can actually... Oh, wow, these tank divisions are weak. Did not expect that, to be honest. I'm going to set a little bit more on that one. Um, is there a harbor here? Oh, no, because these guys should then... Suffer attrition, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, England, how much manpower do you even have left by now? Actually, that's a fair amount, I'll be honest, I did not expect that. And once again, there's a miniature invasion everywhere. Luckily, these guys are dug in and they're pretty uh, damn good at defending themselves. Ah, the Senate they're not attacking with everything. Um, I don't know why I keep researching the radar. God, I wish I had my tanks here. Um, they actually don't have that much fighting power here, I think. Okay, no, no, that's, that's a lot more than I was expecting. You can go there. England is never, the Germans are never going to send over forces to uh, protect this. So this has got to be these paratrooper armies that need to do everything. Come on, you can do this. These guys are crap. There we go. Okay, that's that out of the way. Oh, come on. It's just the transports that are going to be annoying. Fallback line. You, stay there. Alright. Okay, they actually don't have that many forces here anymore, so now it's the time to attack from all sides. Let's see if we can kick them out. Probably want to fly some... Okay, we're still flying air support over there. Uh, weakening those forces is actually going to be of benefit to us, because they cannot recover. At least they should not be able okay, not not too much. Get them out of there. Like why are there 
force is still landing there like every single fucking day. No, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna prevent them from being there. I think I just need to say permanently one guy. Um, right there. Yeah, there we go. Rest of you go to like that. Let's cut out this guy as well. Yeah, that's not a good one where you're standing there, buddy. Okay, that's that guy cut out. All right, have him wiped out. You're all assigned to that one, but one of you is assigned to that one. Quite a large amount of forces right here, actually. There we go. For fuck's sake! It's not even that we are... <sighs> I want to make moves in America, you know? England has fallen. Deal with it. Jesus, fuck me. Okay, so we need to keep one guy in Newcastle. That's two guys. Anyway, um, let's get all of them right there. That's a lot more divisions. Nope. Half of you right there. Six should be enough. Then the fifth will stay there. Go. Seems like the AI has certain preference ports. Um, we'll, we'll abuse that to station troops in those, only in the, at those ports. Like the, like the one right here, here, um, there was a huge attack one right there. We're gonna keep one guy right here. No, oh, come on, you can do this. How are these guys, by the way, not starving, starving faster? Okay, um, let's just speed that up, that process a little bit. Get these 200 to fly over here, we'll park them in this airport. There we go. That should speed up their demise. Being constantly bombed. Ah, the amount of forces here alone should be able to just take this. Attack the bomb by all sides, being bombed by aircraft, not being able to recover. I think it is... I'm, these divisions do just do a surprising amount of damage. I think it has partially to do with the terrain. These are guys are just dug in in the mountainside. Okay, what are we looking for down here? Okay, just counterattack. See if we get any damage down here. Nope. Okay, Germany is uh, sending us equipment. Oh, we officially run out of infantry equipment. Well, shit. Well, luckily, I got a couple of factories uh, stolen from England. Also, apparently my steel problem is no longer a problem. Probably because I took that from England. Hopefully this is a problem that also exists in the Allies, but I highly doubt it. Um, just don't think that's going to be the case. I wish I could install a friendly government here. Like a pro-fascist English government. Thank you for all the equipment. We will take it to... Uh, we'll take it with us. Hey, it's been a weird game, but... Uh, well, we took England, England with merely 24 paratroopers. So uh, that didn't change. That is still the way to go. That would be nice if Germany would actually set forces in the uh, area here, but they won't. Um, A, they have no naval control over the area. Besides, I think Germany considers themselves stretched too thin anyway. So the big question is here, how are we going to ensure that we can invade the US? Because if we cannot rely on German support, at all. I don't know if I... I don't think I can take on the US with just 24 paratroopers. That's not going to be possible. They don't have any forces though, surprisingly enough. I, I, I'm, I'm legitimately surprised with the 
small amount of forests. I think England on its own currently still has more. If we look at everything, like uh, divisions... Like the UK has a couple... Yeah, we have, we have a serious numerical advantage, but... Um, how are we gonna do this, though? Losses. UK and the US, Free France. Free France is as good as dead. It's like the only thing that they have left. And it's not like we're, we can really fight a war of attrition here. How many forces are stationed here? Not a lot, as usual. As usual. This would probably be the point where the US would be like, yeah, I think we're out of it. They haven't had any successes. England has fallen, you know, the beacon of democracy is going down. Japan, India has gone. The damages are insane, considering. Um, so I highly doubt that uh, the Russia out of the war as well. I think in real life this would be a, uh, a moment where peace talks would happen. Anyway, with that, I'm actually going to end the video. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.